If they ain't got it, I'ma mask up and take it. 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 The dope boys in the building. What's up? The dope boys. What's up? The dope boys. What's up? The dope boys in the building. Yeah. What's up? The dope boys. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks and today I am bringing you another Slipknot mask unboxing video but this one is quite special because this mask does not belong to a particular member and I do believe that I am the first and only Slipknot mask collector to own this mask and have it in my collection. So, as some of you guys might remember I made a video a few years back called Oddball Slipknot Masks and it basically was a set of all original masks that were oddballs and by that I mean they were either used like once or twice in a video or on the side of the stage, a member only wore them once or twice, or backstage photos, etc. And I thought for the most part that I had the full set, but there was one mask that always bothered me. Ever since that video was released, I have gotten dozens and dozens of messages about an oddball mask that I have yet to obtain, and that was the mask that was used on the side of Joey's kit for Gods of Metal and a few other concerts. I already knew about this mask, a lot of people did, but no one knew exactly what it was because no one could identify it. The stills from that show are just too blurry, and then the other photos of it are just too dark and you cannot tell what's going on it's it's really poor so without being able to identify the mask there was no way for me to obtain it and put it in the collection but last week my good friend Mike Covert who most of you guys probably know if you're in the Slipknot mask game finally cracked the case and we now know exactly what it was so when I found out what it was I put out feelers to see if anybody out there had this mask that I could trade or buy and my buddy Travis told me that he had one at a local costume shop for $40. So I asked him if he'd go pick it up, I paid him a finder's fee, and now we have the mask, and my oddball set is complete until we continue to find more masks that belong in the set. But for right now, super, super stoked, so we are going to go ahead and unbox this mask and show it off. Like I said, this is the mask that was on the side of Joey's kit on stage with them during Gods of Metal and a few other shows, so no member ever actually wore this. This is strictly an oddball mask, and uh, there's not a lot of people out there that even collect these, but I really enjoy the set because I like old store-bought masks, and I like old Slipknot masks, so if you throw them together, I dig that stuff. So before I pull it out of here, I do want to give a massive thank you to Mike Covert for figuring out exactly what the mask was. It took a lot of us a lot of time and research to even get close to this. We tried everything from Elvis half masks to werewolves to vampires, and we just could not figure out exactly what the mask was. But when I pull this out of the box, you are going to see that it is is exactly the mask that Covert says it is. There is no doubt about it with the hairline and the eye placement and the weird mouth and all that good stuff that this is the mask. So thank you Covert for figuring this out. And a big thank you to Travis for tracking the mask down and sending it my way. I definitely appreciate it. You guys are truly good friends. So thank you very much. On to the mask. The mask at hand is an Al Bundy mask. Would you believe that? This is actually a West German Al Bundy. Not sure if Rudell is the one that made it, but uh, it is definitely an old made in West German mask, so there you go. Weird, right? I know, but super, super cool. I know that these are rare as fuck because there's only one copy that I've ever seen on eBay for an insane amount of money. They are rare, and now I have the mask that sat side stage to go in my oddball set with the others. I really enjoy this set, and now that I have this, I'm probably gonna do an updated video because I've added one or two others to the set besides this one since that last video was made, so we will get around to doing an oddball set as soon as I can. But yeah, here's the mask. I'm going to go ahead and put it on display and give you guys some close-ups and then run some side-by-side -side photos with the screenshots from the shows to show that this is most certainly the same mask that they had at side stage at Gods of Metal.
Like I said earlier, thank you guys for helping me obtain this mask, and thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, and we will see you later.